So now let us proceed to the consolidated. Okay, so uh, actually for standard invoice is normally for business to business B two B, which is at the both side of the company need the invoice. Okay, on the seller part will prove as their income. On the buyer part will prove as their expenses. Okay, but for consolidated invoice is normally for business to consumer. Okay, B two C. Okay, ah uh, yes, Miss Corey. Okay, you can either add at the stock or add direct at the invoice. Okay, so um, may I know? Um, is many of the participants today? Is it you are using? Uh, is your business is related to business to consumer? Means your business is selling to the end user lah, which is the end user is no need the e invoice like cash customer or in customer. Okay, if yes, you can put yes lah at the chat box. Okay, so if or both. Okay, so if both, you need to make sure for the company that require the standard, you need to get the team. Okay, but for the walk-in customer, you can do this uh, setting lah. Okay, for consolidated e-invoice. Okay, for e-commerce, I will show another one. You need to add on another setting for the e-commerce lah. Okay. Okay, so uh, actually for consolidated, you need to maintain the adapter for the cash sale customer lah. Okay, because this customer is not required in invoice. You don't need to update their PIN. Okay, so here, uh, let's say this is for cash customer. Here you can tick cash sale adapter. Okay, and then the team you leave it blank. Okay, so I will show you the two sample lah. Okay, one is you tick the cash sale adapter and another one is you didn't tick. So you can see the difference. Um, when you tick this one, Later on, if customer requests for e-invoice, you can add their team. Okay, but if you didn't take, let's see this one you didn't take kan? Later on, if customer requests for e-invoice, you cannot uh, fill up their team. Okay, so make sure for castle customer, it is advisable to take this one. So that later on, if customer requests for invoice, you can add up their team. Okay, so for cash customer, you just send them their normal cash sale or normal receipt or normal invoice. No need to validate, okay? Just send a normal because this one. Okay, so for business to business, uh, sometimes even though you are business to business, there are some business that is not required invoice because their income is below 5,000K, okay? So they do not require invoice, they will not give you their tin. So you can give them normal invoice or receipt. Okay. So for this invoice that you send normal invoice, you still need to do consolidated at the end of the month. Okay. So this is a sample of the normal invoice or receipt. No need to have the QR code. Okay. So um, This one later on. Okay, I show first how to maintain the adapter lah. Okay, you go to AR, adapter maintenance. Okay, here I have two. One is cash customer. One is cash customer SGD. Okay, so for cash customer, how to know business is B2B or B2C? Okay, uh, actually B2B is business to business. We need to check uh, that business is require e invoice or not okay business to business normally uh your customer is a senior berhad or enterprise normally that business is require e invoice lah. okay for business to consumer is normally a retail shop or a restaurant or a cafe or a walk-in customer lah, okay which means that consumer is not a business individual like me i go to your uh, shop and then I buy some things, okay? And then I do not require invoice. You can give me a normal receipt, okay? So this is a B2C lah, okay? So back to this, cash customer. This one, I didn't take the cash sale adapter, okay? So no need to fill up the tin, okay? Another one is cash customer SCD. So this one, I take the cash sale adapter, okay? So for cash customer, normally I use cash sale lah, okay? <coughs> So for cash sale, <clears throat> let's say this customer is, I use the cash customer lah. This one is I didn't take the cash sale adapter. So when I issue this customer by iPhone, I buy cash. 
Okay, so it's a normal, no submission. Okay, and then if I choose the STD one, this one is customer that I got it the cash adapter. So you can see, later on I can put their tin if they request for tin. Okay, let's say this customer buy the phone and then she directly uh, request for e invoice. Okay, so you can put here tin. Click this tin here, and then you can choose if already added. You can choose, but if doesn't have yet, you need to add new lah. <coughs> so you need to get the customer information. So normally for walk-in customer is individual lah. Okay, but if they want to use for claim for their company, you need to put business lah. Request for their business information, their team, BRN, all this field need to fill up lah. Okay, once we up, let's say this one is already filled up. Okay, so you can see, if I put the team here, it will direct submit to e-invoice. Now it's pending, submitted. And it will show valid. So this customer also, if you didn't provide the team, it will submit uh, a normal invoice. Lah. Okay. Hmm, normal invoice, no submission. Okay. So for normal customer that not require invoice, you just share the normal cash sale lah, that you sent. Okay. Normal castle. Okay. See, this one you need to manually print out and send to your customer lah. Okay. When you print out, you will have the QR code. Okay. It will not auto send. Unless if you got, choose that client here when you issue the castle. For the customer that request for e invoice, they can request for invoice um, either on the spot or post transaction. Okay, if request on the spot means when you create the cash sale, you need to direct uh, ask for their team information lah. Okay, like this. Okay, another one if post transaction, you can issue a normal receipt first, and then later on if they come back uh next week or next two weeks, make sure they only can request in the same month of the purchase date. Okay, so if they come back uh to, uh tomorrow. Okay, so you need to edit back the castle and then put the TIN number. So that is, that is how to update the TIN information for cash customer lah. Okay, so let's see, I put another one for submission letter. Okay, so just now you said that you got also cash customer in sales invoice. Also can. You can go to sales invoice. Invoice also can submit for um, consolidated. Okay, let's say this one also I put cash customer lah. Okay, no TIN. When there is no TIN, system will auto submit it as um, a normal invoice. Here is no submission. Okay, so you can share a normal invoice to your customer. And also, if there is a business, even though it's a business to business, but that business doesn't have TIN and not require e invoice. Let's say like this one, Clarika Kedua, doesn't have TIN kan? So you can also submit them a normal invoice. Okay, but at the end of the month, you still need to uh, submit as consolidate to prove your income. Okay, so here you can see this too is not submit as standard e invoice. Okay. So just now, like I said, lah, if customer requests for e invoice, you need to get their name, address, contact number, team, or my card. Okay, you need to fill up at the 10 team information there and then submit as standard e invoice. So uh, sometimes when the walk in customer, when they give their information, some normally lah, people will only remember their IC. They will not remember their TIN number. So if they give their IC, you can put their IC and just leave it blank for the TIN. Okay, just leave it blank. And the system will put EI9010 uh, for this TIN, the general TIN lah. Okay. But if customer provide you the TIN but do not provide you the IC, so you need to fill up the TIN 
and then the IC, you cannot leave it blank. You need to put 12 digit zero. Okay? So same goes also for the passport lah. Either one. Okay? If they give you passport number, this one you just leave it blank, the TIN. But if they give you the TIN, the passport number, you need to put 12 digit zero. Okay? But now the e-invoice, you can search can so no issue lah actually. So if let's say I want to add this customer, it is an individual. So you just get their my card. Let's say they give you my card. And then you can also direct search team. Okay, if you want to put a team, you can search. But if you don't want, you leave it blank also can. Okay, you also can update the team. Okay. Okay, so um, any of you have using a post system, okay? If you're using a post system, our AutoCAM post also have the e-invoice features at the front end, lah, okay? So when you make the cash payment, okay, they will have a button here, customer information. So if your customer is request the e-invoice on the spot, you can click this customer information and fill up the yellow... Uh, fill. This is the compulsory fill. Lah. Okay. <clears throat> and then you click OK. Customer will get the e-invoice through their email. So the email is a compulsory. Lah. Okay. Uh, and also, uh, this one really should. Ah, if customer requests a post transaction, means they buy today. And then for the post system, let's say the customer requests for the next week. Okay. You need to find transaction. And then you select back the details. Uh, the cash receipt and then you click here submit e invoice and then it will prompt up back the information that need to fill up you can fill up the customer information okay but if you don't want to fill up manually actually customer can scan by qr code okay but they want uh need to add on module okay so uh if you print out the receipt we'll have the qr code for request e invoice so your customer if they later on if they want for e invoice they can scan the qr code and fill up their information like this scan the qr code and then they will fill up in this information and then they will get a uh, email for the e-invoice okay this is for the post system lah okay <clears throat> okay so okay this one already done can edit you just direct edit lah if customer want to request you just edit the document this one, no issue actually because you can direct edit for the same month, okay? Because have the new function, uh, use today's date, even though your castle is already backdated more than three days, you can just edit the document, update the team number, and then you can submit to LHTN, okay? This one is for lower version. Okay, so now, when, when all the transactions already submitted, for that month, at the end of the month, you need to submit for consolidated. Okay, so let's say for this month of September, all your customer requests for normal invoice. Okay, so at the end of the month, before the 7th October, 7 calendar days, including Saturday and Sunday, you need to submit the consolidated e invoice. Okay, all the transaction in this September, you need to submit in one e invoice. Okay. And also, if you have a multiple branch, you need to submit consolidated e invoice for each branch. Okay. So, our system can differentiate the document by type, by location, and by currency code. Okay. Okay, I create another castle here. Cash custom. Okay, so now I have all the transactions. Now I want to submit at the end of the month. Okay, so you go to e-invoice, consolidated e-invoice. Okay, so here is where you submit the consolidated e-invoice. Okay, so you click new and then you put the date 1st of June until 13th of June. So just now I got... Document from invoice and castle. So you can tick both lah. And then generate. So when generate, system will differentiate by document type, 
transparency code and sales location. So you can see, just now I have invoice. I have few invoice lah. Okay, that is not submit as standard. And then you can see, I also have castle at HQ. And then also have castle at Ipo. Okay, and then under SGD punya currency, I also have castle 31 and 33. And then you can see at Manju also have one. So system will auto create one, two, three, four, five. Five consolidated e-invoice. Okay, so you can see uh, here in my invoice here, I 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, and then 11 until 13, not, not here. And then it will go to another row, 14 until 15. So where does the 11 until 13 go? So it's either submit as standard or it's already voided. Okay, so system will auto exclude the invoice that already submit as standard and voided and only submit the one haven't submit yet as consolidated. Okay, so once okay, you can click save. So now already create five consolidated invoice. Now already valid. Okay. Okay, so this is how you want to generate the consolidated e invoice. Okay. So let's say got uh, one of your customer that requests for the e invoice at the next month, not, not at the same month of the purchase. So how you want to handle it? Okay. So let's say she buy on 15 August. Okay. But she come back on 10 September. So you can tell her, sorry, we cannot provide you any e invoice because it is already past your month of purchase. Okay. So you can say this to your customer. Okay. This illustration guide is by LHTN lah. Okay. 